All right, so here's what we're covering today. We're covering something called subject pronouns. Okay, subject pronouns uh, plus the verb said. Okay, said. So we've done a little bit of subject pronouns. We know kind of what they're about. Uh, we know that subject pronouns are the equivalent of the words I, he, she, we, they in English. So I'll start off with the English subject pronouns, and these are the ones that, that tell you who is doing the action or who we're talking about. So we'll start off with I in English. The next one would be you, and then we have he, and then we have she. Uh, the plural forms of those would be we, you again in English, and then we have the form they, right? Okay, so we have uh, seven in, in, in English, uh, six really because the you is, is done twice here. In Spanish, we're going to change that up. We're going to have a few more forms because Spanish makes a difference between a, a formal you, a respectful you, and a regular friendly you. So we know I is yo. We know you, the friendly, familiar form is tu. tu. Okay, so that's the form that you would use with a classmate. That's the form that you would use with your friends. That's the form that you would use in your immediate family. Uh, the he form is el. She is ella. Uh, and we're going to throw in one more with this cluster right here for Spanish. And in Spanish, we do something that we don't do in English. We differentiate between the, the informal and the formal use. So this is the one that you would use for a classmate. This is the one that you're going to use for someone who has authority over you. Say a teacher, um, a coach, a, a grandparent, anybody who you're going to refer to with respect. So we're going to throw that one in, and that's going to be usted, usted. So we have yo, tu, el, ella, usted. So we jump over here to the plural form. So now we're talking about we, we, and that's going to be one of two forms, nosotros or nosotras, okay? And you're going to use nosotras with the A-S ending if you are talking about all girls. If you're a girl and you're talking about all girls. Um, in Spanish, we're going to have a plural form of this you, this tú. Yeah, if I were talking to a bunch of people that individually I would address as tú, I'm going to use the word vosotros, vosotros, or vosotras. Again, depending on who we're talking to, uh, a, a bunch of guys, a bunch of girls, or a mixture of guys and girls. Now, the important thing here is that this is only used in Spain. Okay, never used in Latin America. You won't hear any Latin America uh, Spanish speaker, Mexico, Peru, uh, Cuba, anything on this side of the world use vosotros. Uh, and then in Spanish, we have a couple of different forms of the they. We have the they if you're talking about all guys. We have the they if you're talking about all girls. So we have ellos with the OS, ellas with the AS. And then we're going to throw in a plural form of this usted right here. Usted is singular, so I'm addressing a teacher, I'm addressing a grandparent, I'm addressing a boss. If I have a group of those, I'm going to use ustedes, 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 ustedes son. Uh, and this is the form that you're going to use throughout Latin America. Okay, so I'm going to put LA here, not the city, Latin America. Okay, although that's what you're going to hear in LA also. All right, so those are subject pronouns. If you want to talk about people, you can use yo. You don't want to say, hi, I am Fernando Campos, over and over again. You could say, yo soy, yo soy, okay? Uh, tu, tu is you, él is he, ella is she, usted is the formal form of you. Uh, plural forms, nosotros, nosotras are both we. Vosotros, vosotras are the plural form of you. And then we have ellos, ellas, masculine, feminine, and ustedes, which is uh, what's used in Latin America. So now, uh, we don't use those by themselves. We always use those in a sentence. We always use those to give information. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add verbs to these. And the verbs that we're going to add are going to be forms of the verb ser. Ser is a really important verb in Spanish, just as it is in English. The English equivalent of this verb is going to be the verb to be. To be. All right, so what's to be in English? Well, uh, to be in English is I am, you are, he is, she is, we are, they are, all those forms of the verb. 
Okay, that's when you're giving information about somebody. So, what's the form of yo with the verb said? Yo what? Yo, yo soy. Yo soy. And actually, I'm going to use a different color for this just to make it stand out a little bit more. Uh, so, we have yo soy. Yo soy profesor. Yo soy de México. Yo soy estudiante. Okay? So, these two, you want to get in the habit of using those two together. Yo soy. Uh, the verb that goes with tú is going to be tú eres. Tú eres. Okay, so that's you are. Tú eres. Tú eres estudiante. Tú eres uh, compañero de clase. Uh, these three are going to be clustered together all the time because they're all going to take the same verb. We're going to use él es. He is. Ella es. She is. Usted es. You are. And again, that's that respectful form when you're using with someone with authority. Uh, nosotros, we jump over here to nosotros. Nosotros and nosotras are, gonna, are both going to take the same form, and that's going to be somos. Nosotros somos. S-O-M-O-S. -O -O somos. So that's we are. Vosotros. Vosotros is going to take the form of the verb. Uh, again, vosotros is only in Spain, but vosotros is going to take sois. S-O-I-S, sois, vosotros sois, you all are, okay, you all are, vosotros sois. And then ellos, ellas, ustedes are both going to, are all going to take the same form of the verb just like él, ella, usted did. Ellos, ellas, ustedes are all going to take son, son, son. So what we have here is we have the verb uh, to be, which is said. And we have it conjugated, we have it changed to match who we're talking about. So we're always going to pair up yo and soy. We're always going to pair up tú eres, él es, ella es, usted es. Nosotros somos, vosotros sois, ellos, ellas, ustedes all go with son. Okay? Now, uh, one thing that's different about Spanish from English is that because I know yo always goes with soy, here's what I can do. I don't have to use that yo. I can take that yo away and I can still communicate perfectly well because soy is always going to go with yo. It's going to be an implied yo. So instead of saying yo soy Fernando Campos, you could say soy Fernando Campos. Okay, the yo disappears. You could do the same thing with tú. Instead of saying tú eres estudiante, you could say eres estudiante. Again, because the tú is implied. Because eres has to go with tú. Here, because you have three different forms of the verb that can go with S, you want to include your subject, él es, ella es, usted es, that way it's clear. Somos has to go with nosotros, so you could leave nosotros out. You could say somos instead of nosotros somos. Same with sois. Uh, son, because you have three different forms, you've got to, uh, again, include your subject. Ellos son, ellas son, ustedes son, because you want to clarify who you're talking about. Okay, so what you need to do for this is basically you just need to memorize this. Practice this over and over again. What goes with yo? Soy. What goes with tú? Eres. What goes with él? Es. Ella es. Ustedes. Nosotros somos. Vosotros sois. Ellos. Ellas. Ustedes son. We're going to practice this a little bit in class. I'm going to teach you a song to help you remember what these conjugations are. But this is vital. You have to know this. Okay? Watch this as many times as you need to. And we'll be using it in class.